All right, what's up, everybody? How's it going? This sounds very weird. Coming to you live from the Security First Bank North Zone stage. I'm Cristiano Simonetta, joined alongside by Stars head coach Rocky Russo. Welcome to Coach's Comments. And Coach, I think I could speak for everybody here when I say, let's try not to do that to our heart rates anytime throughout this year. Because look, it's great. It's two big points in the bag. But look, I don't think we can take that through 62 more games. First of all, I, I made sure they kept the bar open for you guys. So I gave you extra hockey, a shootout, and the bar's open. What more do you want? <laughs> And two points to boot, and it's a 3-2 victory for your guys over the Sioux City Musketeers. Let's just talk about the MVP for the game. One of the MVPs, Lucas Wallen, two big goals in regulation, then he scores in the bottom of the second. Was there any doubt that he was going to go in that shootout in that spot? You know what? I, I had a little bit of a gut feeling there, and, and uh, obviously he's, he's got the hot hand. He just had his commitment, and, and when guys commit, one of two things happens. Either they, they kind of go down for a little bit, and, and they get uh, – complacent after that or or they they really take the next step and uh there we go thank you for that uh it's halloween right all right i like this live stuff this is good um and and lucas is one of those kids that that obviously he had a great week of practice he was he was on fire during practice and then obviously he gets the first two and uh you know we go with mason mason's pretty crafty obviously and and uh in the back of my mind, I knew I had Thompson to go third in the event that, that Lucas doesn't score, but uh, I just I had a gut, gut feeling that he was going to end it there, and I, I tapped him on the back of the head, and I said, go end this, kiddo, and, and that was a heck of a move, wasn't it? Heck of a move there, and a heck of a move by Marcellus in the first round, and also Cameron Whitehead, another game for him, 30-plus saves, 3-0-1 to start the year. I talked to him this morning. Couldn't really envision a better start to his USHL career so far, and I think he just has added another chapter to that tonight. Yeah, you know what? Cameron's a special goalie, obviously. He's big, and, he, and he's mobile. He's, he's technically sound, but, but he's patient and quiet in the net, right? He doesn't get rattled. The puck goes in the net on him. You don't have to worry about him uh, changing the way he plays. He's going to go right back, and he's going to play the right way, and... and uh, you know, he lets the first one in in the second period, and, and a lot of goalies would be frustrated because it wasn't a good goal, right? But but he was able to, to really get himself right back in focus. And then even after the second one, man, did he make a big save late in the third period for us. And, you know, that's the that's the type of goalie that you want in the, in the net when you're in a 2-2 game. Did you sense some frustration from the guys when you weren't getting that first power play opportunity? You see Sioux City with four power plays, then Griffin Jarecki gets tripped under seven minutes ago in the third, and you finally got that first chance. You know what I told the guys at the end of the second period? We need to go earn a power play, and, and I don't think that we had really earned one to that point. You earn them with your feet, right? And you move your feet, and you force guys to hook you, hold you, uh, drag you down, obviously. Of course, you take the elbow or, or the, the, the boarding from time to time, but there, there wasn't a whole lot of that tonight. And, and really, you know, in talking to the staff at the end of the second, I said, I don't really know that there's been much there for Charlie to call on us. So um, once, they, once they got their fourth one, it was inevitable that he was going to call it. And it was, it was a tough one, right? We, we had a, on the, the first too many men, they rimmed the puck right to our bench when, when we were changing. That's a pretty shifty little, little play by them. And, and the second one, unfortunately, Dashiell got a little excited in, in his first USHL game and jumped a little early. But... Uh, I, I, I'll certainly let him slide on that because I thought he was pretty darn good tonight in his first opportunity in a Lincoln Stars jersey. Yeah, 24 and gray, his first USHL game filling in for Usado coming back in the lineup. Glad Vremiev and Noah Laba out for tonight's game. You get those two guys back tomorrow. I know you don't want to look too far ahead to the Saturday matchup in Sioux City, but what can those two bring back to your group? Obviously, Laba is, is a special player and Gleb is a difference maker. And so... You know, for us to find a way to win a game without those two guys in the lineup against an excellent club like Sioux City, and they really are a very good team. Uh, I'm really, I, I'm really proud of the way we kind of took that next man up mentality that we talked about in the pregame, and uh, we had some guys step up and play really good hockey tonight. I thought Tanner Ludke was really good. I thought Jack Larrigan made some really good decisions and plays. Usado was was good in his first uh, uh, first. Um, looking in the, in the lineup here in a, in a couple weeks coming off the injury so you know Jarecki obviously made some made some things happen he's got to find a way to find the back of the net but he's generating some chances and so it's only a matter of time for 
for Griff, he's essentially a rookie, right? I know he played 33 games last year, but he's playing like four minutes a night. So now he's playing big minutes for us. He's, he's killing penalties. He's getting offensive chances. And so as his game evolves and develops, he's going to score more as we move forward. One last easy question for you, Rocky. How fun was that to be on the bench and hear this crowd go crazy? Felt the roof explode off this place once Wally put that between the legs. That's Lincoln Stars hockey in the ice box. That's why I took this job. And, and quite honestly, uh, growing up as, as a younger coach and, and even as a kid 20 years ago, like Lincoln, Nebraska was the mecca of junior hockey. And everybody wanted to be a star. Everybody wanted to play in this building. And, and so I'm very humbled at the opportunity to stand behind that bench as the head coach. But um, the, the energy from our fans tonight and, and the way that we were able to really feed off it was awesome. And, you know, for us to be in a good situation that we've been without having – really been at home much so far has been really encouraging for us we've got some home games coming up and a lot of home games in the second half of the year and and this environment this building our fan base is a difference maker for us so the more fans we can get in here the more energy we can bring it definitely helps us turn the ice in our favor rocky thanks so much for doing this thank you that was coach's comments live from the security first bank north zone stage stars win three to two in a shootout against the sioux city musketeers back in action tomorrow night at Tyson Events Center in Sioux City, Iowa. We'll see you then.